We received a gift from Stuart Nolan and his family that is substantial. It matches the largest gift ever given to the foundation. And with that, we're going to take it and put it into cardiovascular prevention research. This is something I've always dreamed of doing. I'm incredibly excited to get it started. There's no way we can do what we're going to do without this gift, right? We have lofty goals and we're going to try and achieve them, but in order to do that, we need resources. And so we are incredibly grateful. When I think of the Nolan Family Center for Cardiovascular Health, I think of a center dedicated to research that's forward thinking, that's upstream and innovative around how we ever prevent heart disease from developing, as well as individualized approach to patients to best meet their needs for folks who have strong family histories of heart disease and want to change this for generations to come. The vision for the Nolan Family Center of Cardiovascular Health is to have three pillars, uh, research, education, and leadership. We want to take those three things and expand on them and really kind of give our footprint in a national and international level in cardiovascular prevention. So it really enables us to take our research on calcium scoring and our research in nutrition and lifestyle and our research into new cholesterol medications and really focus on expanding those trials and expanding those studies and where we can kind of try and move the needle in terms of changing cardiovascular prevention. Really, the opportunity to most impact our populations is before people ever have a heart attack or after they've had a first one before they ever have a second heart attack. But there's substantial research needed to figure out how we best do that. Because part of what we're talking about is behavioral change. We're talking about changing the social norms around what we eat, how we move, how we practice mindfulness and calming in a world full of chaos. So with that being said, there's lots of research, real world research in large populations to figure out how this best works for people to do it. As much as this is kind of my passion and I enjoy doing this research, there is a component of this that is necessity. We know, as of right now, the current trajectory of our healthcare system is not sustainable. We can't keep doing what we're doing and expect it to work out. It won't work out. And so we need things like the center to have success in order to our health, for our healthcare system to survive. You know, we need the Nolan Center to work well for cardiovascular prevention because cardiovascular prevention is essential moving forward. You know, we can't wait for people to get sick and then take care of them. We have to prevent them from having a heart attack or having a stroke. I think we have the opportunity to have a huge impact. You know, unfortunately, our society is more unhealthy than we've ever been. So uh, we have a lot of work to do. Um, I think it's exciting, uh, but really figuring out um, combining medicine and evidence-based research along with the evidence and science around behavioral change will be critical to being effective. Uh, we know that this is, it's, it's medications, it's procedures, and it's all of this mind, body, and spirit together to produce healthy people and communities.